What's going on guys? Big V back with another Game Case Arcade video on this one today. We have another Mega Touch. <laughs> Took the wind enemies, spider webs and all. Another Facebook marketplace find. They shot the garage, it's hot as hell in New York. Let's take a look at this. Gee. All right, guys, you're not joking, I'll find all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see the whole journey, you know, the whole social media spiel. It is hot as hell in the garage. I don't have the AC. I don't have any AC. I have a big ass fan uh, and I turned it off because I feel like it's a nuisance when you hear it on the microphone. So excuse my sweatiness. This fucking cabinet is heavy. <laughs> this cabinet, we do have a Mega Touch Max Jade Edition. I did a video on this. this is the, I, it's not the same one. I did a video on this exact type of Mega Touch where I said it was free 99. I gave it back to the customer. This one though, different situation. Going there, I knew it was going to be the CRT model. Uh, it's just by looking at the cabinet and not to mention this Jade Edition and the Max. Uh, but damn. Off the bat, excuse me, I am sweaty as hell. I am a one-man show. I just have a, I'm stubborn, is that the word? I'm hard-headed and stubborn. I don't ask for help. My neighbor across the street, he's always like, Vic, if you need help, just message me and I'll come over. I'm, I'm, I don't like to bother people. I'd rather just break my back. But excuse like the sweatiness. Uh, I definitely am sweating up a storm. But on this one, we do have another Facebook Marketplace find. I'm excited. I'm shooting this. Right now, no joke, I just got home because a lot of people, they see like the face of Marketplace finds like, whoa, like, you know, they, I feel like you guys want to see like a whole thing, like what goes through my mind and such. Uh, this one's unique. We'll talk about the deal I got. Uh, basically, we'll talk about the Facebook ad. We're going to talk about Facebook Marketplace in general because, yo, Marketplace is just, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to say it's going downhill, but... Just like the way people are writing stuff and then the, the price that they write and then it's like free, but it's not free. We'll talk about Facebook Marketplace fine. We're going to talk about this exact machine and live, we are going to power this thing on. Basically take you through the steps. Kind of like when I actually get these things before I record, I'm just going to take this example here and you know, we're going to actually boot it up and such live. I don't know if this thing works, so we'll find out together. Now again, it is hot here. I don't have any AC in the garage. I do have a big fan, but I don't have it on right now for you guys because I know you're going to just hear like a loud buzzing and it's a nuisance. So I'm sweating because partially, yes, I just unloaded this and it is a heavy cabinet, but it's also just hot in here. So excuse my sweat stains and my sweaty self. But uh, I laugh now because it turns out I'm becoming the Mega Touch guy. Uh, I love the Mega Touch. I, I honestly can't get enough of them. If you've seen my other videos, you would have heard my history with Mega Touch and basically growing up, I really from the teenage years, uh, you know, the, the place I would go to, the place we had, we had an arcade guy and he dropped off a Mega Touch and I just pumped quarters and dollars into it. I'm just a firm believer that if you have a home arcade, you should have a Mega Touch. It's just different gaming. It's totally different touch screen. My kiddo goes crazy for it. Um, you know, she's just, just honestly, you know, two year old just kind of tapping away, but it's just awesome to see like her enjoying it when I have parties. I have two mega touches. Remember that I have two of them. I have the RX tabletop countertop and then I have the Z back that I call it. I have two mega touches. So, uh, it's kind of funny when people mention me as the mega touch guy. Again, I still have my three Facebook marketplace ads and it's kind of cool. Cause some people message me like I did in the last video where the guy was like, Hey, do you fix these? And I'm slowly becoming the Mega Touch guy. Although I'll be brutally honest, I am not an expert on these. You know, it's just kind of like what's the word I want to use? I don't want to use I don't want to use the word common sense. Uh, you know, it is a computer, but it's kind of like steps to it. That's also why I'm filming this so we could see what is going to happen with this when we power it on. I feel like I should power this on while I talk, which I will most likely segue into. But real quick, let's just talk about Facebook Marketplace because I don't know what the hell is happening. Uh, it's just, it's gone to a different, like, I don't know. I, it kind of is, uh, let me, let me just, I'm going to free speech it. So I don't go on, it's Facebook marketplace also could be very dangerous. Meaning like you might just find a bunch of ads. You might start just, you know, commenting and trying to grab everything you can. I was not in search of a mega touch. I don't have a mega touch customer, but 
when I see a good deal, I hop on it. I, I don't slack. Now I'm gonna obviously fix this and sell it. This one is gonna be sold. I'm not gonna keep this one because I have my two personal ones, but this one will be sold. It's just, let's just start with the basics. I, I Facebook Marketplace went like to the left because people now are posting either free, one dollar, or one, two, three, four, five in like the ads, and it, it annoys the shit out of me because even though it says free, if you read the description, it's like, hey, I'm gonna take the best offer. This is not free. What's the point of fucking posting it? I can't stand it enough. Now for me, you know, I'll try to go on Facebook Marketplace maybe every other day at night. Once I get the kiddo down or trying to put her down, I'll probably just roll up my phone and I'll just go to Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace, like my personal phone, I have three main searches. I have Arcade, which is obvious. I have Pinball, and then I also have Mega Touch. And it's kind of like, you know, every time I open up my Facebook Marketplace, it kind of just zeroes in on, the, on those three key words. So one night, I get this. Up for sale, this is $200 on Facebook Marketplace, and it's just a picture of what you see here. That's another thing with these people on Facebook Marketplace, I can't figure it out. If you sent, and if you post a picture of it working, you might get what you're asking for, but basically I saw this ad, 200 bucks, just like this. I'll read the description, I'll actually you know, read it in full. Uh, but basically, long story short, I messaged a person, one big keyword that was in this that he wrote there, there is no power plug. And these right here, these take like the computer three prong power plugs. Like you can't just go and get one from like your desktop. I'm pretty sure you have one. Uh, but yeah, his big thing was that there was no power cord. He doesn't even know if it worked because he doesn't have a power cord to it. So asking price was 200. Basically after one day, I sent one message. I said, I will give you 50 bucks for it. He goes, no man, you can take it for $200 right now if you come right now. I was like, nah man, I'm good at 50 bucks. Message me the next day. He goes, yo man, my dad said to sell it to you for 50 bucks. Let me know when you can pick it up. And boom, we now have a $50 mystery mega touch in hand. Now what's funny is the picture of the ad. I will just kind of screenshot it real quick. You can see it's in a garage. Uh, it is dusty uh, as hell. And it looks like it hasn't been touched in years. So here's the description. My parents had it in their house and want it gone. Haven't been used in few years. Can't find the power cord. Again, $200. So it's just, it's kind of funny. Like, want it gone, no power cord. Uh, and I, I'll be honest, I am that guy. Uh, I am that guy that, in no disrespect though, because people take it as disrespect, I am the person that throws a low number. Not to be an asshole. I'm not doing it to get something for free. I'm not doing it to be an asshole. It's just, when you don't know what you have, it is annoying. It's fucking annoying. So again, person wrote here, no power cord. It's been in the garage for several years, $200. So, I mean, I get it. Listen, I respect you trying to get $200, but there's so many red flags with this. I'm gonna plug this in right now and let's see what's gonna happen, three, two, one. I hear the CRT turn on. I should actually probably stand back. <laughs> CRT is always kind of scary. But I heard the CRT turn on. And we are doing this live. I just, I don't have any video. There's lines. I don't even know if the PC powered on. But yes, this is uh, this is part of the journey right here. Literally doing it live. Power it off real quick. Let's just give it a reboot. No keys. Also, this didn't have any keys to it. So, like I said, what I'm getting at is like you're selling it for two hundred dollars. You don't want to get a power cord. Maybe like they couldn't see where the power cord. I don't know. There's so many like I just can't stand it. You know. Again, I am that type of person that will lowball you, not in a bad way, not to be disrespectful, but I do say. So yeah, this now is turning into a project. <laughs> but this is cool, somebody, I feel like some people want to see this live. This is what I deal with, this is what happens. This is what you don't see behind the scenes. You see a final kind of video, but hard thing right now, no keys to this. Um, but basically, I picked this up. I went, it was an hour away, it was about 30 miles out. Uh, I got a truck, I gotta put some miles on it so it doesn't really matter to me. Like people, you know, gas, I gotta pay for gas. Let's go, get, the, get in the car. 
Um, but basically, like, I went to go pick it up. It was a young kid. I mean, not, you know, he was young. He was in his, like, I would probably say maybe 17. And he was helping his parents unload this. So I went to go pick it up. And the kid's like, oh man, you're getting a great deal, dude. I've seen these sell for like 900 bucks that I've seen on my like Facebook marketplace one. I have one up for 800 bucks. He's like, oh man, I, you know, this is like a steal for you. I was like, no, it's not, bro. I was like, it do, you don't know if it works. I said, does it work? No. I said to him, you're also looking at like a Mega Touch RX, which is a 2014 LCD. Like you can't compare it. And that's what I'm getting at is like, when you don't know what you have, you can't like, and I get that a lot on Facebook Marketplace. I get that all the time. Oh, if you look at other ads though, people are getting this much. I'm like, they're not getting it. They're trying to sell it. But then also like you have different state. It just, it, it annoys me. Uh, you know, I get it though. You might not understand it, but I hate when it's like, I'll throw a number and people just off the bat, like, fuck you, you're an asshole. Like get the fuck off. Like don't even message me like, oh shit. All right, you know, a simple no, <laughs> a simple decline on your offer is okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is it. So we now have a $50 Mega Touch. And as you can see right now, and I guarantee it, if this person actually powered it on, it would have been a brick. It is right now is a brick. I have no keys to this, which kind of annoys me. But the right side, and I know this because I did it over there, the right side is free but the left side isn't and if i know my mega touches basically the bottom here it's kind of like a metal thing i won't record this part but i will basically try to get the hood open right now i could have probably recorded that because it took me five seconds but there you go <laughs> uh basically i don't know i don't know what was holding it in but i had to turn it a little bit again i had my experience with the other customers i do know the computer is here and it looks like it's intact, so that's a good sign. But basically, I'm gonna assume maybe there's a power supply issue, maybe there's just no power going to it. But at least now that I have this open, I have a better idea of what to expect. Ooh, there's keys. And a money. No money. But I'm hoping that this is also the same key to this. This is not the same key, that needs an actual key. These are like the cylinder ones and no. So we have a money box key, but not a key to the cabinet. So let's try it again real quick. This has a shitload of spiders too. Uh, and I don't like spiders. <laughs> I feel like they're on me, but let's see. So we right now, the PC is not on. I don't have any power on the PC. I don't, the fan's not on. So we're gonna have to see if maybe wires are discombobulated and stuff. But yeah, I mean, even uh, we don't even have like the fan and stuff, but at least we're one step closer. <laughs> All right, so I got this far. I'm gonna do a quick test with it. I'll do it live as well. Uh, basically, I got the hood open. I didn't have the key to the rear, but I was able to unscrew the latch the rear panel is back here. It's basically two metal rods. Uh, basically what I'm doing right now, and I didn't record it, but it's just kind of basic science and math. Uh, I took a power tester and I'm basically going along to make sure there is power. I am getting power to the power supply, but nothing going out. But then again, it's not turning on. So basically right now what I'm gonna do is I took the actual, you know, ATX prong motherboard power thing here. I'm gonna jump it. Basically, if I touch the green and the black next to it, the fan, the power supply should turn on. If it doesn't, we might need a new power supply. So basically, I have a jumper wire here. Again, if you're not comfortable with this, don't do this, but uh, I have a jumper wire now. I always like to stand back when I do this. Uh, we're gonna give power to it and we're gonna see if the power supply turns on. Maybe it'll smoke, I don't know. Power supply turned on. Wow. Okay, so it is not a power supply issue. The rear fans also kicked on. Interesting, eh? Very interesting. I wanna, ch I wanna check one thing real quick. Put everything back.
<laughs> okay, so I disconnected, I disconnected the audio. So if I bring that back, okay. I do have now though a red light on the motherboard, which I did not have before. I'm probably going to assume that the hard drive is dead. Nothing on the display. Maybe like the CMOS battery? Which I don't... This is, this is just part of the journey. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds like a bomb going off. Good thing the wife and the kiddo aren't home, but... Power off again. But now I'm getting life now. I thought it was a power supply issue. Luckily, again, if you jump the green and a black wire that's next to it, you you do turn on the power supply without a PC. The PC is kicking on now. But again, I probably have those <laughs> beeps. I do. So I unfortunately do not have a hard drive, but I would now assume, honestly, it's gotta be a hard drive thing. I'm right now gonna take a step. We're gonna message Eric on eBay that I usually get my hard drives from. And uh, yeah, we're gonna now take a break and we'll, we'll see what he says. All right, so real quick update. I have the fan on. Uh, somebody in the forum said, try reseating the RAM. So I basically took four screws out, pulled the board, reseated the RAM. Yet, I've yet to test this. Let's see. Still getting the same beeps. It's close though to that. Meaning, we do have a pulse. We do have a pulse, but reseating did not work. Damn, thought it was gonna get it. So I can't lie, I've been at it for about 45 minutes. People in the forums, again, I don't post these things. I don't ask the questions. It's just you could look back at other people's issues. People are saying, yo, listen, the two beeps, that is a dim slot error. That is a memory issue. Try to reseed it. And after wrestling with the memory, it's a beautiful sight. Granted though, yes, this is now the third time booting. Second time I was filming it, but then my camera died. Uh, I now need a keyboard. And I need a keyboard with the PS2 connector on it. Like the old school cylinder one. I don't have one of those. I am now a sitting duck, but we're close. We are close. I can't wait to clean this up, man. I can't wait. Man, I'm right there. I'm right there. I honestly did also the battery, the CMOS battery, which is underneath. It's like a JAMA connection on this. Um, I've never gone this far. As far as with these Jade editions, like I've never gone this far. Um, and it, I should say max. This is a max board. I have not gone this far. But, damn. Uh, you know, I had to take a couple of screws out. There's like a special clip. It looks like a JAMA harness just to access the uh, memory. But there was the CMOS battery and honestly that had some like acid on it. Um, so I don't know if maybe me removing it and putting it back in messed it up. But damn it. I need a keyboard. <laughs> damn it. So I just look at the last clip that you just saw. Right now, you gotta fast forward a week and a half later. I'm, I just watched the video and I'm like, wow, I'm so excited and just wait until you hear the story I got with this. Yes, I am now a week and a half later. This has been sitting in the garage. This, this, this took a turn. Uh, so get ready for story time on this. Now, the last thing I showed you, I was waiting for this PS2 connector. Uh, again, so crazy. Ordered this on Amazon, it took two to three days actually. Amazon used to be like overnight, and then two days, and then this took three days to come into me. Basically again, this is a PS2 barrel connector. These motherboards are so old, that's what it needs. So I needed to get a PS2 to USB. This luckily, and I have a bunch of keyboards, but after testing two keyboards, number three was able to register with 
the motherboard. Like I said, you might even see it in the background, but I do have quite a story to tell you about this. Uh, basically, I did film it, but then I deleted the footage because I was just so frustrated. I was so pissed. Uh, again, I feel like it was, it, I can't tell if it was my error. I can't tell if it was just the motherboard just saying, go F yourself. But man, basically, I plugged in the keyboard. I pressed F1 to start up. It went into this updating EDSD screen, and then after two seconds of that, boom, black screen, nothing. I went into like a panic mode. I'm turning on and off the system. I then thought like I fried maybe the, the CRT. I, I was going nuts, but basically all in all what happened is the motherboard is officially fried and dead. This is the old one. This is the old motherboard. A week and a half later, I do have a new motherboard in this system now. While we'll talk, might as well boot it up. Like I said, what a story. Something that was, that, again, like I said, I can't tell if it was me. I think it was the motherboard, because as I was looking back on the footage just now, I didn't go to the computer. I'm just looking back on the footage. You know, it started off okay. Then we went into like the memory beeps, the, 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 the RAM stick beeps. Then it booted. Then I pressed F1, it did an update, and boom. I honestly think the motherboard on it was just shot. But also, and I'll probably, I'm gonna stitch it in later on, um, I did also test the old hard drive on this new setup, and the hard drive was also shot. It actually locked up everything. I got into another panic just to test this. I thought it was gonna fry this motherboard. Now again, this is just part of the journey with these mega touches and anything really that you get. Anything that you want to try, that's it. Sometimes you get some easy fixes and then sometimes you have to go in and really swap things out. Took me a week, a week just to get a new setup on eBay. What another nightmare that is. Uh, it's just wild. It's, it's crazy. Um, like I said, this is the old one. This board now is known as the unicorn board. Again, did so much research. So much because I also got my mind going. Somebody said that you could swap this from a max to a force, but you need to swap out a couple of things internally and the micro touch controller. So I'm like, oh, uh, basically pricing stuff out. This right here was known as the unicorn board. Um, apparently the unicorns are crap. These boards are supposedly crap. The one I have in this is very unique. Uh, which also led to another two day, actually maybe a three or four day delay. Um, I'll take you in closer, I'll talk about this, but all in all, it is up and it is running. So we do have right now the Mega Touch Max Jade Edition. The old board also had a Jade Edition. Again though, that hard drive was dead. And luckily, with my surprise and happiness as of yesterday, it is up and working. Again, looking at a week and a half after, I'm like, why did I delete the footage of this? But whatever. Like I said, the big thing was like, I, I can't really explain it to you like from start to finish. Like I said, I had the system just like this. Like I wasn't, I didn't have my hands on it. Basically the system kind of just rests. You kind of pull it out a little bit. You could rest it like that. This is how I was testing it and such. When it went into that updating EDSD screen, I wasn't touching it. It went black. Also the power supply to the PC went off and I'm like, oh man, is it the power supply that's dead? So much was going through my mind that I had to do a jumper cable. So you basically could jump on the ATX power supply. You could make it turn on. I was able to turn it on. I was able to get a red light on the old motherboard, but again, I was not getting a BIOS. Uh, you could see in the footage before, like BIOS was pretty quick. This one right here takes about I mean, I, I don't know exactly, but let's just say it takes about 10 to 15 seconds just to see the BIOS. This, at the heat of the moment, I let this run for like 10 minutes and I got no BIOS. And I'm like, you know what? I even looked up the manual for this unicorn board. And there's a bunch of numbers on it and the, it's an old board. Um, even like the manual says like, oh, you know, write this card and send this in to tech support. And one of them says no BIOS screen. So. I have a very big feeling that whatever it is, the BIOS is basically no longer on the motherboard. So it's just, it's just a brick at this point. And these PCs are old. It's not like you could just take a USB stick and put in a BIOS like it is now. This is just 
done. Uh, what's also crazy is that again, looking up on eBay, this is called the unicorn board. There's like two people that actually fix unicorn boards. They have an option, a hundred bucks, you could send in your old unicorn board and they'll send you a brand new one. I messaged up this person, the guy was like, listen, I don't have, I have to find one, he said, number one. And then number two, which I really got annoyed with, he was like, give up on your project, you're gonna be wasting more time and money than it's worth. And I was like, damn, like why? I, 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 it was just mind blowing to me. I was like, and I have a whole back and forth thing with this, this one guy and I'm like, that's not really a way to, to, to encourage. It's like, damn, really? Like just junk it? Then I'm like, how many people has he messaged and then people actually just junked it? I mean, there's like no faith. Um, but basically all in all, here's what happened. The new board would have costed a hundred bucks. I'm looking up on eBay and again, eBay, it's kind of crazy. I also notice now when it comes to these mega touch max stuff, Again, Max is older, then you have the Force. Um, you, it's very difficult to find pieces for the Mega Touch Max. Somebody had this board, a complete set, and the hardest thing, and again, it was a gamble. Um, the hardest thing was that they all right there, not sure if it works, pulled from a machine that had a bad monitor. So, like, you know, you're really taking a risk. Now, here's what happened this. This guy wanted 100 bucks, but he didn't have a board. I bought this, the guy originally wanted 150. I went to like make an offer and I put 100 bucks and boom, he took it. This is a complete setup. This came with a hard drive, this came with a key, this came with a motherboard, no power supply. Whereas 100 bucks would have just gotten me a motherboard. If I did, let's just say that guy pulled through, I would have still been asked out because this hard drive that I have on this one, is dead this is a it's, it's just a bad drive it's, it's it's awful it's horrible so it took like a week just to get this new board which is just like ah because while i'm waiting for a week i'm doing research and people are saying that you could take this whole setup and then upgrade it to the newer force but there's a couple of things you have to do mostly towards the uh the the touch sensor but then i was also looking at the cost of that right now like mega touch force boards are about 250 to like 280 bucks, not including the, the touch controller. Touch controllers are like another like 70 to 80, so I'm like, damn, this went from a $50 steal to like me now putting in like 300 bucks? Like, damn, I, I, I'm okay with my 100, but 300, that's, I might as well take the whole thing out and put a Windows PC in it and such. And yes, I know people will flame me, but that's what I would do because that's a lot of money. That went now from a $50 score to like, I now basically I'm gonna break even if I try to sell this. So it's kind of crazy. I left the old board intact. This way I knew which wire went to what. I just left everything intact, right? This new board comes in. I'm all excited like a kid on Christmas. I'm open up this box. I go to put it here and now this board, the new board, is different than this unicorn board because this board has an actual ATX connector, a power connector. This new board, which apparently is a better board, or it might even be an older board, this freaking board has an AT connector. Not an ATX, an AT. So for like 40 minutes, I'm like, where's the power on this? And if you know your computers, uh, I, it's kind of covered right now, but basically you have like your Molex connector. It's the 20 pin, you know, white power connect you put into the motherboard. This didn't have it. I then had to go out and do a bunch of research. This now needed an ATX to AT converter. Add another two days onto the wait list. But luckily it came in, plugged right in. I've never seen this kind of AT connected. I'll probably flash it on the screen for you. I was just like, what is happening? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I've never seen anything like that as you can see. Um, I plug it all in, it doesn't boot. I'm like, oh shit, here we go, this is it. This is just a bad time. What's crazy with these, um, with this ATX to AT connector, there is a green and black wire that looks like arcade uh, terminal, like ter it, 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 it's like spade connectors, I should say. I sure enough went, I grabbed it, I touched them, and then sure enough the PC turned on, and I was like, whoa, I guess I need to connect these now, so I'm gonna definitely solder that, uh, but damn, what? A freaking journey. I plugged this in, I got an image on the screen, I had to go through the whole F1 setup and adjust the boot. 
I had to set it up to boot to the hard drive. It was set to boot to removable devices first, so it would just sit. Oh man, all in all I said, what a journey this Mega Touch has taken me. Now again, once I got this up and running and I saw the screen and it was all good, I was like, my curiosity got to me, I was like, I have to test, I have to test the old hard drive. Uh, the eBay ad I bought this, the guy wrote that it was a Ruby edition. If you do some research, there's an Excel sheet. Ruby is older than the Jade. Um, you know, it's still like, what is this, a 2002? 2005. So we have right now running a 2005. I think a Ruby was like a 2003. Um, I was very surprised when, I, when this boated up. It was a Jade edition. I said to myself, I was like, my curiosity got to me. I was like, I have to try... Like, I have to try the old one. So I made sure this worked. I was like, good to go. This works. The touchscreen works. Everything is registering. Let me remove. I was like, let me take this gamble. I removed the hard drive and I removed the I.O. board. This whole thing, it's a, it actually looks like a JAMA connection. Uh, it's held down by two screws, but this whole thing comes out. This has the key to the hard drive. Again, Mega Touch nuts. It's crazy. Luckily, somebody has keyless stuff now. So I basically took this off and I took the hard drive and then I put it into this new setup. Booted, BIOS booted up after 10 seconds, it recognized the hard drive, it started spinning and then sure enough, the first time it actually rebooted and I was like, okay. And then it finally booted and then it went to a Jade. So that one was a Jade edition, but it just froze on the screen. I posted it on Instagram. Again, if you're not following me, what are you waiting for? But I'll just show you real quick. I'll do the whole clip right now. And I could sleep better now. It looks like the hard drive is shot on us. It just did a reboot. Let's see what we're getting real quick. Checking storage. But it did reboot on its own. So now it could possibly be just a hard drive. But again, this motherboard, I couldn't get it even past the BIOS. I couldn't even get the BIOS, but it looks like it is dead. Dead. Shit, I spoke too soon. Something's loading. <laughs> oh, the mega touches. You gotta have the love hate relationship. Right now, waiting again to see the marquee does show a Jade Edition. Oh, it's loading. All right. So now I feel a little bit better now, also. Still feel better because that means that the motherboard was bad on this. Whew. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And it is a jade, but it is frozen, it is crashed. Garbage, is it garbage? I can't tell, this is too slow. This is way too slow. Bad, bad hard drive, bad motherboard, basically a whole internal swap on this. Something that was supposed to be a simple thing Turned into major surgery. Not really major. Just needed a new heart. But yeah, this is dead. Let's power off, junk it, and let us put back our original. And back to normal. Just gotta now swap out mounting plates, but I'm very excited. I can finally finish the YouTube video. Just gotta clean it up a little bit. Got some crustiness on this, but we are back and running. Sheesh! Very original mega touch action going on over here. Gotta love it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna aim and get some power. Boom. Cheese. So as you can see, the screen froze. Again, it rebooted. Uh, it did like a double boot. So you actually heard the whole beep and such. I said, you know what? I don't wanna risk breaking this motherboard that I know works. That right there is just, that's over there. Bye bye. And at least now, all in all, it does work. It's actually very cool. The guy on eBay gave me, uh, it's basically a metal, it's a metal plate. Look at how these are. It's kind of like interchangeable. This metal plate, again, the motherboard and everything is screwed to this plate. I basically took two screws out of this and then popped in the other one. Pretty cool concept. Uh, right now, part of me is like, what am I gonna do with this? Uh, it's gonna sound weird, but you might find it up on the wall. Yes, I am going to keep this as a token, not just to, you know, keep it for weird reasons. <laughs> uh, it is a piece of history. I feel bad throwing out something like this. Even though 100% the motherboard is bad, I still have parts. 
So if I do pick up another Max, I do have at least three, or I should say two RAM sticks. I do have like another IO board. Uh, the hard drive is dead. I don't have to worry about the hard drive. That's definitely bad. Um, but I just can't, I just can't throw it out. So you're going to probably see it up on the wall just as a trophy. <laughs> Now it's also cool for a hundred bucks. This person also gave me a micro touch controller. Like I said, I was like, oh man, this is awesome. Like a hundred bucks, I really can't go wrong. Whereas again, like I said, if I went and got a, a new unicorn, which apparently nobody has, I'm in the Facebook group for mega touch people. I post like, hey, anybody got a unicorn board and nobody responded. So I guess it's just an extinct thing, but it's pretty cool. As you can see, I looked this up. I could probably sell this for about 50 bucks. I won't though. Like I said, my objective now is I'm gonna keep that there. And if I do ever get my hands on a Max, I will have some pieces and parts and such. But all in all, this whole experience, um, I don't wanna say this in a bad way, but if, if I find a Max, luckily you could change the parts out. Uh, I don't wanna say, I, I was gonna say, I'm gonna avoid the Max. If I see a Max, I'm just gonna avoid it altogether. Um, again, the reason I'm saying that though is because on eBay, there's not many boards. You're probably going to find two people that are selling the board that I got. Um, but again, you could get this and convert it and all that. Supposedly, there's no videos on this conversion. I just saw it on a forum. Uh, but all in all, I have to do the, the final cleaning. Kind of get rid of all the spider webs and stuff. But it is a thing of beauty when it works. Not to mention what's really cool. This hard drive has high scores in it. I don't know if it was pulled from a home or a bar, but there are some kind of funny names uh, that people put. I'm definitely gonna be running a quick game of Photo Hunt later on, and it looks like Brit, Brit Bray Brick, uh, Brit Bray, uh, Ken, Coon, there's, a, there's just a bunch of random stuff. Rachel Starr, uh, mega touch, mega touch, mega touch. So it's kind of cool. You basically have somebody else's high scores that you could beat. The high scores though on this are dating back to 2012. You were looking at 11 years old. So maybe that person had this board sitting in their garage for 11 years. I don't know. I'm gonna now clean this up and we'll take a look when it's finally, finally clean. After about a 45 minute deep clean, Man, it is looking like a mega touch. This is looking beautiful now. Deep clean, hard Windex. As far as even on the outside, you can kind of see the shine. I actually put WD-40, not on the CRT. I put WD-40 on this. It really gets like deep into it. Not to mention, look at that marquee. I took it out, I took the whole plexiglass out. Definitely had a huge bunch of cake gunk on it. Hitting like the crevices, the corners is probably like the hardest part. That's why I had to really take out the marquee, so I might as well clean it there. When you take this out, like you could actually hit the crevices here and such. The big thing, probably the most dirtiest thing, was the screen. Now remember, you do have the CRT here, but this has an extra piece of glass for the touch. That was just horrible. That was just, it was a very thick layer of gunk. But basically now, it looks it looks great it, it looks great on the rear of the crt it's got this control board we can fix the horizontal position and the hold and the brightness and the contrast so playing around with that all in all this now looks amazing took the air compressor shot up all the fans cleaned up everything got rid of all like the spider webs and such let me show you what i discovered in the rear of it now i don't remember if i shot this because i knew this beforehand but cleaning it up uh, you know, it was time to clean. Uh, I do have a pair of needle nose pliers in my hand for a reason, but let me show you real quick some pretty awesome stuff. You do have your registration card from Merit. Uh, is there a year on this? No. You have your registration card. We have, I guess, our basic advertisement card here. Raising your route above the rest. Get connected. This is the tournament. Tournamax. You do also have the upright owner's manual. But the last little gift is, we found some kid's dirty ass sock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll be honest, I'd rather find this than uh, any little friend. So yeah, I got your sock, bro. <laughs>
Well, there you have it. Another Mega Touch in the books. I've said it many times in all of these Mega Touch videos. If you have a game room or even just anywhere in the house and office and stuff, a Mega Touch is a great addition. Don't sleep on the Mega Touch. I, I always suggest every house game room, it should have a Mega Touch. It's just a whole different world. The touch screen world, it's different. Now granted, yes, this Mega Touch, it did, uh, it did test my patience a little bit. Uh, it is the most detailed, intricate, probably the most like maintenance I've ever done on a Mega Touch. Again, you're looking at a $50 Facebook Marketplace fine. All in all, at the end of it, got an extra 100 bucks for a brand new motherboard and a hard drive with it, so that to me is a steal. And then I did have to get that ATX to AT converter, which was 10 bucks. All in all, $160 in. I will be putting this up for sale. This thing is heavy. This does have a 13 inch CRT in it. Anytime you have a CRT, it gets heavy. But I always say the Mega Touch, don't sleep on them. I love them to death. Another Mega Touch in the books. Vicky P, Game Case Arcade. I'm gonna, no joke, I'm, I'm putting this like some, probably next to right. It's my trophy. Ha <laughs> ha.